You're going to be using InMotion Hosting to host your website. Your website, to get into InMotion Hosting, to load it, you need to go to cpanel.mccdgm.net. Your username should be the same as your Canvas login. The password changes each semester, so you'll need to check the directions that are accompanying this video inside of the learning management system to see what password to use for the current semester. Once you have got your username and password set up, you're going to log in. And don't save right now because you're going to change your password. Now you should be in the paper lantern view but if you're in X3, which is another layout for cPanel, you can go ahead and switch the theme up at the top here to Paper Lantern, and that should match most of the videos in this course. There are a couple things you need to do here. You want to go to the bottom of your options, go into Preferences, go to Password and Security, put in the old password, which is the default, and your new password and then hit change your password now. Pause the video while you do this. Hopefully you have changed your password. I'm going back to the home section and we're going to do most of our work in this class in the file manager. If you click on file manager you'll see that you have multiple folders on either side. I want to go into the public HTML folder. Now you won't have these folders visible on yours. You might have a CGI folder, you might not. You, can, you should have this basic layout. Ignore anything that's already existing. Don't make any changes to it. Don't delete anything. You're going to create two new folders. One folder should be Web 105, and it will contain all of the work that you create for this class. This way, if you take another web class, like Web 115, Web 175, each one will get its own folder. Then, you're going to create a new folder named Private. So we'll again hit the plus and the folder sign, name it Private, and we'll create the new folder. I'm using this to show you how to password protect your folders. If you'd like to make it where other people on the internet can't publicly see what you're doing in this class, you can provide a password and login for Web 105. Just make sure that whatever user you create for that, you add it to the comments for each assignment that you hand in because I need to be able to log in to see your work. But you can prevent the rest of the internet from doing it. Is it completely secure? No, but it's very secure. For the private folder, I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose Password Protect. We're going to need to do this in two steps. First, we're going to password protect the directory and we're going to call it private, the same as the folder name. And then we're going to click Save. Now we can go back and we can add a user to it. So the user should be Mary and the password should be JavaScript all lowercase, and then the year. Currently it's 2018. If it's 2019 or 2020, please put in the current year. And so I'm going to confirm that, and JavaScript is all lowercase. And you can use different usernames and passwords for your Web 105 folder. Again, if you do, just make sure every time you hand in a um, hand in an assignment, you want to make sure in the comments to include the username and password so that I can log in. So now we're going to test this. Your address out on the internet should be your Canvas login, mine's actually going to be web105.mccdgm.net. And when I go here, I should not actually see the private. That should be gone. Let's check that in a different browser. And this is how you refresh things. Nope, oh, and it's missing here. So let's try and refreshing it here as well. Ah, uh, that's because I have this set saved because I was testing it before. So if you've tested it and go back to the website, it's going to log you in automatically. If I go to a different browser now to test it, 
I'm going to put in slash private and it will bring up for my username and my password. And now it'll save it so that every time I log into the web page, it will automatically authenticate and let me in. And that's why I'm seeing it on the other one. It worked fine. So that's how you're going to test it. Now what I want you to hand in for this assignment is the web address that you have right up here. So you're going to want to copy and then paste in this link where you hand in the assignment and that's how I'll be able to grade it. And that's how you're going to go to every single one of your web pages. You might want to make your life a little bit easier. Since this is where your web page is going to be, you might want to go to here or to the Web 105 link and bookmark this page. I just call it Web 105. And then it can join your bookmarks here if you have them visible. And that'll let you get directly back to your website anytime you need to look at anything that you've uploaded.